Last year, Tesla released a sleeker, more efficient and much improved version of the Model 3. And rumor has it a huge Model Y refresh should be released sometime next year. Follow along as I discuss a new report that reveals details about the newly refreshed Model Y that's coming, and in addition, details about the new RoboTaxi as well. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. The Model Y is of course selling extremely well, and in 2023, it was the best selling vehicle globally. Not just electric vehicle, but vehicle Overall, the best selling vehicle globally was an electric vehicle. That's an incredible feat. And Tesla did that with the Model Y. It's obviously an incredible vehicle. However, the Model Y is due for a refresh because it is missing many of the great new features that were recently added to the new Model 3. Thankfully though, it does appear like a new Model Y version should be released early next year. And not only will it have a refreshed exterior design, but like the Model 3, it should have a refreshed interior design as well with many new features. Now, before I dive into the new report, I just want to quickly go over some leaks and some sightings of the newly refreshed Model Y under wraps. So, for example, based on this particular Reddit post of a Model Y with the front and rear of the vehicle covered, it does very much look like the shape there is like the new Highland Model 3, the new sleeker Model 3. So I expect the front of the Model Y to look very similar to the Model 3 in its shape and the headlights, etc. When it comes to what's under the rear wraps, it looks like the Model Y is going to have some kind of light bar going across. And on X, Dominic Brinkman has been posting some mock-ups and some illustrations of what the Model Y may look like based on some of these images that we see of the Model Y covered up. And I believe the illustration here in this post is very similar to what the Model Y will look like when Tesla actually reveals it. Dominic also shared this particular illustration showing the front and rear of the vehicle. And once again, I believe this is basically what the vehicle is going to look like. I'm sure there'll be a few other design clues that are slightly different, but in general, this is what I expect the new Juniper Model Y to look like. With that being said, I now wanna to move to a new report. So this report was from the Late Post team. And since Late Post has been very accurate in the past on 4680 battery news leaks, I believe that they are a pretty credible source overall for information. So with that being said, based on what's posted here, it looks like the newly refreshed Model Y will get a five seat version first, and then the seven seat version will come along later on. Specifically here, it looks like in the first quarter of 2025, Tesla plans to bring out the five seat version of the Model Y. And then at the end of the year, in the fourth quarter, Tesla plans to bring out the seven seat version. I will talk more about the seven seat version shortly because it looks like there may actually be some tweaks to the vehicle and there may be a region specific version of that vehicle. But this article also does give some other details. For example, it's written here, quote, and this is translated from Chinese to English, so it's not perfect. But that translation is here, quote, the extent of the changes to the new version of Model Y is expected to be similar to that of the new version of Model 3. The overall appearance and size of the vehicle will be fine tuned and the interior autonomous driving hardware and battery pack capacity will also be adjusted. So with that being said, as a refresher, I'm not going to go over every change on the new Model 3, but as a refresher, just some of the highlights, Tesla redesigned the front and rear of the vehicle. And with this redesign, the Model 3 became more aerodynamic, has a lower uh, coefficient of drag. And because of this, Tesla was able to improve the range, for the long range all wheel drive Model 3. When it comes to interior improvements, the new cabin is much quieter in the Model 3 while driving. There's much less road noise. And this is thanks to 360 degree acoustic glass and improved insulation. In addition, Tesla improved the suspension system. They added ventilated seats, a redesigned steering wheel, a screen for rear passengers, new ambient lighting, and also a quicker acceleration for the performance Model 3. Beyond that though, it looks like Tesla may be adjusting the battery size of the new Model Y, which makes me believe that there's a possibility that Tesla will bring back the structural battery pack Model Y, at least in the US. Maybe they're switching to something different, but it looks like Tesla may be switching back to a structural pack Model Y, which would make sense because now that they are starting to really do well with 4680 battery production, and that seems to be ramping up, 
if they can produce enough for not only the Cybertruck, but also for the Model Y, that would of course be a huge win for Tesla and would allow them to actually be more profitable on this new Model Y because manufacturing their 4680 batteries at scale should be much more efficient and less costly than other batteries. Now, obviously the battery size being adjusted could be slightly down instead of up, but I imagine that it slightly will go up. And as Jordan from the Limiting Factor recently reported on, it looks like Tesla's new cyber cells actually have really solid energy density, a nominal energy density level for the new 4680 batteries in the Cybertruck of around 272 watt hours per kilogram, which is extremely solid when it comes to battery technology. So I wouldn't be surprised if the new Model Y has slightly more range than the current versions of the Model Y. That may not happen, but it would make sense. Okay, moving back to the seven seat version of the Model Y, which according to this article, the new version should be coming out in the fourth quarter of 2025. This article specifically brought up the fact that the current third row in the Model Y that's available right now is a bit cramped. There's not a lot of leg room in that third row but it looks like Tesla may be revamping this seven seat version of the Model Y, which I assume means it could have more legroom. With that being said, in this article, it was specifically written, and of course, once again, this is a translation, a Google translation of uh, Chinese to English, but it was written here, quote, people close to Tesla China said that the Chinese version of the seven seat Model Y is almost a special edition model for the Chinese market, which is different from the seven seat Model Y currently sold in the United States. Details are unknown. It is not clear whether the wheelbase will be extended to better accommodate three rows of seats. People familiar with the matter said that it is precisely because the Chinese version of the seven seat Model Y will have many differences from the version currently delivered by Tesla in North America, that it will be mass produced and launched in the fourth quarter of next year. This is quite intriguing. If Tesla were able to extend the wheelbase of the Model Y slightly, and just give a little bit more leg room there in the back rows. Of course, that would compete directly with the Model X, and maybe the Model X wouldn't make sense to be available anymore. And this could be a way for Tesla to actually bring out a version of the Model Y to replace the Model X, which really isn't selling all that well right now. The Model S and the Model X, Tesla isn't doing much volume in those. So if Tesla brought out a version of the Model Y with an extended wheelbase and seven seats, that could replace the Model X and sell way better. I would not be surprised if Tesla does this and it's not only exclusive to China eventually, but Tesla also brings this to the US. Maybe in 2026, Tesla could bring this version to the US, a seven seat version with an extended wheelbase. Of course, this is just conjecture right now. We don't know if Tesla's actually gonna do this, but this could make a lot of sense. Now, interestingly enough, beyond that, it looks like the new RoboTaxi, Tesla's new compact RoboTaxi, the compact vehicle that we've heard so much about, it looks like it's going to be built off a version of the Model Y platform. In this article, it was written, quote, in addition, information from the supply chain shows that Tesla is also preparing a hatchback compact version of the Model Y, which is expected to be released in 2025, ready for mass production in the third quarter and delivered in 2026. It was originally built on Tesla's next generation model platform, but is now based on the Model Y. Now, as I'll talk about shortly, this does seem to make a lot of sense based on what Elon has recently said in investor conference calls. But this also makes a lot of sense since Tesla is not uh, building out Gigafactory Mexico right away. They've delayed that and they're going to be building this new compact vehicle at Gigafactory, Texas. And since Tesla has really figured out how to mass produce the Model Y, in order to get this vehicle out quickly and profitably, it does make a lot of sense to go ahead and build it off a Model Y version platform. Of course, a smaller version, a modified version, but with some basics similar to the Model Y. And I am definitely very excited about a more affordable, compact version of the Model Y that could be available in 2026. Of course, Tesla is going to have their RoboTaxi version, and I believe they're going to actually sell a regular passenger uh, version of the vehicle as well. So this is really exciting news, and it makes a lot of sense. Now, going back to Elon's comments about this that kind of corroborate this and make this seem valid. In Tesla's Q1 2024 investors conference call, Elon Musk stated, quote, 
These new vehicles, including more affordable models, will use aspects of the next generation platform as well as aspects of our current platforms and will be able to produce on the same manufacturing lines as our current vehicle lineup. So it's not contingent upon any new factory or massive new production line. It will be made on our current production lines much more efficiently. So once again, it looks like Tesla is not going to be fully using their unboxed process that they talked about in the past that was supposed to allow them to drastically reduce the price of manufacturing by somewhere like half previously. They're not going to be able to do that, but they're going to take some of the existing processes they use to build the Model Y, improve upon those a little bit. Tesla is always moving forward and making new step changes, and they're just not quite taking such a big leap like they were going to before with their new unbox process. I still believe Tesla will get there, but just not yet. With that being said, when it comes to what this new compact robo-taxi built off the Model Y platform could look like, once again, Dominic Brinkman on X posted these two images showing a mock-up of what this new compact vehicle could look like. And I do like both of these illustrations, maybe even the one on the left even more with that front light bar. With that being said, I am looking forward to the October 10th robo-taxi event to really find out more and see what this robo-taxi is going to look like. And it looks like Tesla is already testing the camera placement for the RoboTaxi because Drive Tesla Canada recently posted this image on X with a link to an article showing new camera placement on a Model 3 here. Obviously not for the Model 3, but testing it for another vehicle. And in addition to that post, they also posted these four images from Darren W. Once again, showing those cameras a little closer up and they're kind of in odd positions, different than the Model 3 is. And you can see specifically there on that right hand top picture, there's a camera that's positioned right there on that rear glass window. In this post, it was written maybe for the upcoming RoboTaxi Elon Musk. I believe this placement is almost certainly for the new RoboTaxi testing that out and getting that right. And it's exciting to see Tesla testing this on public roads. With that being said, I am excited to find out what the new Model Y design looks like. I know it's going to be great. And in addition, I'm also really excited for this new compact robo-taxi slash compact vehicle from Tesla that really looks like it's going to be a smaller version of the Model Y, and I believe that's going to sell extremely well. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd also like to say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.